So continuing with the situation, they got EMS here now. The uh, gentleman, I'm going to keep my phone off of the gentleman, but he had told them that where he got assaulted, he lost his phone up there. They wouldn't let him go get it. I went up and checked the area. I found his phone. I brought it back, handed it to the officers. This stupid via rent pigs telling me I'm not allowed to walk down here. Told him absolutely wrong. I know what his problem is, but he's not going to interfere with me handing this guy his phone back. Um, then I continued on my way, and he said, no, you're not allowed to go down there. And I'm like, you're absolutely wrong. You're going to have to arrest me to stop me. Uh, I'm not interfering. And uh, the officer I handed it to was unfriendly with me at first. Officer Rawlings knows what I do and that I work with the community all the time. He realized that I'm not out here to cause problem, but I do document all these types of things. And, uh, again, I mean, I don't appreciate this via guard trying to tell me I'm not allowed to be on a public sidewalk. How you doing, officer? Can I get your name? Yeah, Mr. Reese, it's uh, Wolford. Last name is Wolford. Oh, okay. First initials F. Okay, that, that's fine, Mr. Wolford. You, you, you do understand why I told you you're not going to restrict me, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I'm not trying to be rude to you, no, but, no, but they had evidence that I located and brought to them. I'm not going to be stopped from doing that. I appreciate you, man. Yeah. Right, and, uh, and, I mean, I, I know you guys do your things down here, but... I the gentleman I spoke to in front of the Grand uh, like a few months ago. More than likely. Like I said, I mean, I, I'm out here all the time. I watch you guys, but it's not negative. But, again, when I tell you, hey, I've got evidence they need to have. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you, man. Yeah. What's been up Same old, same old. I do what I do. You guys do what you do. Um, I'm a homeless advocate. I know the crime that goes on down here. Trust me. It, I'm not. I mean, honestly, I know how these, I know how these things go. And, and no offense to you guys, but just like when I was assaulted over here and you guys arrested me when I was assaulted... Even though you guys had body cam showing that, you go through the courts, you get it dismissed. So what happened? Good evening. Oh, it's Alvarez. Learn to turn your body cam on in the future. That's the truth. So as you see, the guys in custody, they, they shackled him up, assuming he was part of the assault. The other guy was saying three guys assaulted him. So if that story is accurate, it doesn't make sense why they have him in custody. But, you know, someone may have seen the scene, called it in. Again, that's why when you get things like this, man, if you don't have it on film, you're going to get screwed. He said, she said, a witness says, oh, I saw them fighting and remembers the description of one person. That one person may have just been walking by. Again, I can't call that. I wasn't here. I got to the scene after this happened. I was down here with this guy who had an injury. He kept saying my phone's up there. The police wouldn't let him go up and get it. And I thought maybe he was talking about a phone charger because he was on a phone. And uh, the, the last time he asked, he was very specific. And I'm thinking, I'm going to go look for that phone <clears throat> because he's going to get treated and or 
detained for fighting in public and taken away. But if that phone is still out there, which I honestly doubted it would be, then um, it's best to get it before other people walk by. And fortunately, I was able to recover his phone, brought it back, handed it to the officers, and at this point, I'm just waiting. Sorry, I'm digging in my bag for uh, my charger. My phone's about to die on me. Yeah, my phone's going to die on me, so I'm going to go ahead and call this a night out here. Um, would like to know the end of the story, but uh, really, at this point, I've done my good deed of the day. At least I got that guy his phone back. Sucks that he got assaulted, but again, assaults happen down here all the time. It's not the first time I've witnessed an assault or been the victim of an assault in the area, so... Uh, it's a rough neighborhood. I don't advise people hanging out or walking around here, but um, I'm going to continue to do what I do because this is what I do. I'll go ahead and roll this till my battery dies. Looks like I left my charger plugging in when I took off. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. And hopefully this guy doesn't get pinned up for a crime he didn't commit. And again, I don't know what he did or didn't do. I, went, I didn't witness that. only heard what this other guy said, and he said three guys assaulted him. Um... You would think that if three guys assaulted him that they would all have left in the same general area. But, um, and again, the guy has a head wound. Uh, he may have a concussion. Whether or not it was three guys, two guys, four guys, you know, uh, again, when people have been assaulted, a lot of times they embellish the story so they don't look like... Like it's all on film, officer. That's why I film. So um, at this point, I'm gonna wait till that chills out. Once my camera dies, and I walk past that scene. Right. For right now, I'm gonna sit down on the curb. <laughs> 